Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on the Safari app uh, sharing and printing. So um, this right here, this little uh, box with an arrow jumping out of it, is the share button. And that you see a lot of places, and it always um, has functionality that you can do. Um, so in the in case of Safari, in the case of Safari, um, it's going to be doing a lot with your web address. Like say I find this really interesting travel article that I want to share with other people. I'm going to hit the share button, and there are many different ways I can share this web address. Um, the first one is AirDrop, which is a really nice feature um, if you're in the same Wi-Fi with people, like say you're in a meeting or some kind of a club get together and you're all on the same Wi-Fi, um, you could do AirDrop and it would automatically uh, drop that web address to everyone that's on the same Wi-Fi, which mm -hmm. is great, that it, and accepts it and stuff that you pick. Another way to share a web address is you could message it or mail it. And if you notice, these are colored and these are grayed out, these options. These are external things um, sharing somehow out of your iPad or your iPhone. And these would be more internal things, doing things within your iPad or your iPhone. So you could either message or mail the web address. And if I'll just do message quick. It's just gonna bring up your message. You're gonna type in who you wanna send it to. Right? Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna send it. And so you can see right there, it typed in the web address for that article. Okay, and then it sent it off. So that would be the same thing that would do just open your mail program and you go through the same thing. And then there's, you can also tweet it or post it on Facebook or Pinterest it, put it on Pinterest or Evernote, if you have Evernote. And here's the more button, dot, dot, dot. It has more features. Right, if so have there's other a, apps. you have other apps that you could do. You could add that if you wanted. Then down here, your more internal functions are, um, you can create a bookmark, which we have a tech bit on, on bookmarks. So and you can also add it to your reading list, which a bookmark just marks that page for you to easily go back to it. And the reading list is gonna download it to your device so you can read it offline. Great for if you're flying. Right. Yeah, I always go in and put a bunch of articles in that I can right. read on the plane. And um, so let's go ahead and just quick do a bookmark. No. no. Yes. <laughs> sure, do a bookmark. Yeah, I'm gonna quick do a bookmark. All right, so it comes up and it tells you, you know, this is the name of it. You could change that. Sometimes it will come up with some long name. Right, right. It's hard to have as yeah. a bookmark. Yep. Um, and this shows you the actual web address. So this is what you'll see when you go to your bookmark right. list. And this is the travel page of BBC, so that's good. Yeah. It's, it's titled nicely. Um, I might take home off. I don't really care about that, right? Right, yeah. Right. Um, and then it will, down here it shows you the location where it's going to put it. This is going to put it in my favorites, which uh, is this top bar here. So you might not want that in favorites. If I tap on it, um, I, we have a bunch of folders created. Maybe I want to put it in this folder. So you can choose your location and then tap save. And the reading list is very is a similar process. Yeah, it just puts it yep. in there. Yep. And add to home screen will create a, um, instead of a bookmark, you might want to create a little icon right. on your desktop. It looks like an app then. Right. So I could do that. And for sure I'd want to shorten this name. Right. Watch this. I'm going to add that. And there it is. It creates like a little app, which is great if you have a website you use a lot. A lot right. Then it's just right. a little icon, and I just tap on it, and it's going to take me right there. Right. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. And the last thing, um, you could copy the web address to paste it somewhere else. Or printing is always a big one. Right. You might want to print this page. This is actually, it will print the page, right? Right, exactly. So you click on print. And again, you choose your printer and how many copies you want, and then you can print it. Right. Which I'm not gonna print. No. So that's our tech bit on the share button. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.